Well, I'm underway, but the problem is my transmission, my transmission is slipping. I speed it up. I speed it up, but my, but the boat doesn't go any faster. It's, uh, there's an adjustment inside the transmission that uh, has to be done. Uh, this is a, a common tweaking technique, and that's what I'm going to have to. Uh, that's what I'm going to have to do. But anyway, I'm underway. I forgot to bring my anchor, so I'm hosed. again the uh, figured out what my problem was you know the first time I got underway I the motor wouldn't run next time I got underway transmission didn't work and so it's just a continuing process what I finally figured out was I think the main problem was a problem that I had identified earlier you know I think I talked about it this uh, this prop right here is a three bladed 12 by 12 which nobody uses a three bladed 12 by 12 on a one-to-one -one, uh, rotation with an atomic four uh, it's way too aggressive and it was causing my transmission to slip um, so what I did I, my other propeller, and you've already seen this too, this is a 12.8. The recommended, what most people use, uh, the old style propellers, is the 12.7 to 12.9. This is a 12.8 right in the middle. I thought I might be able to get away with this because it's a much smaller boat than is usually pushed by these things, but honestly, I, I never really thought it would work, which is the reason I bought this propeller. So, the second thing I did, and I did detail it with, with the video, is I got in there on the transmission. Uh, there's a cover on top of it, and you take the cover off and get down the transmission, and there's a couple of adjustments that you can make, adjusting... Uh, uh, what are called friction pads uh, for the forward uh, gear in the reversing gear and the uh, I think it's called the reversing band well I took a round turn on both of them and uh, tightened both of them up um, just to make sure that my transmission didn't uh, didn't uh, slip this time. So I got the engine running. I think I solved the transmission propeller problem. Another problem I solved was, or at least come to grips with, is my great idea for self bailing these uh, holes right here are just above the water line and which is great when I'm just you know sitting in sitting in the water but when I put the boat in and out of the water those those things can go underwater particularly when I'm taking the boat out and so water gets uh, goes through those holes when I uh, when I'm taking the boat out of the water and putting it back in. So I fashioned these um, fashioned these little bongs to uh, seal that up uh, temporarily when I'm putting it in the uh, putting it in the water. Um, if it works, I'll come up with a a better solution. All right, then, let's uh, get underway. Let's take this baby down to the water and see if it works.
back in the water and I'm going to try to restart it. Ignition, fuel pump. Already pumped up the gas. Give it a little bit of choke. A little bit of gas. I'm running down here by the park. I, I, was, I was hoping it'd be people out here walking on the boardwalk so I could show my boat off, but uh, there's nobody here. I guess I have to show my boat off some other time. Hope I don't run out of gas. <laughs> well, I'm on my way back. I'm going to try to run it up to 2,000 RPMs and see what happens. Well, there you have it. There you have it. I I got it running kind of cooling off. I tried to run the I tried to uh, run the RPMs up, and it's a little hard to do uh, trying to run the RPMs up and run the engine at the same time. Uh, one thing I did notice <coughs> is that. When I got the RPMs up to 2,000, uh, my temperature uh, went up to 180. So I'm going to have to, I've got an adjustable thermostat. I need to adjust that. But the thing uh, works as advertised. I wish I had a better video, but it's uh, kind of hard to run this uh run the boat and this camera at the same time. I I can barely run this camera when I'm not doing anything. Too many buttons. Alright, so I guess that's the end of uh, end of this uh, series and I hope you enjoyed it. Hasta luego.